Hey everyone, Mrs. Patola here, getting ready for Unit 3, Lesson 3, Order of Operations, Day 2. But before we do that, please pause the video and check your answers from last night's homework. You can pause here, and then we'll slide down and finish checking there. Hope you did great, and let's get ready for Order of Operations, Day 2. Today we're going to look at Unit 3, Lesson 3, Order of Operations, Day 2. Today I will tell you that some of the problems for the Order of Operations will get a little bit more complicated. But you got this, right? And don't forget, you should have your calculator out. And please follow, very important, follow the rules for the Order of Operations. Let's review and see what they are. That would be the parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide, and then add or subtract. I have a great music video. If you haven't heard it yet, it would probably be included in yesterday's lesson, but I'll play it for you. I'll attach it for today. How can you evaluate numerical expressions that include parentheses and exponents? That's going to be our focus for today. First, we're going to take a look at the do now. And number one says, what are what is the order of operations? Or what, what is the order of operations? So take a minute and fill that in. So an accurate definition of the order of operations, the order of operations are rules that tell us which math procedures to perform first to evaluate or solve a math expression. Remember, a math expression does not have an equal sign. Take a look at number two. Which of the following has the greatest value? Show your work to justify your answer. All right, give it a try, pause the video. And for number two, the correct answer was choice A, because when you multiply out all of these twos, your product is 64. Just to review, these are the rules of the order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide. Remember, it's whichever one comes first from left to right in the problem. And then lastly, add or subtract, again, first from left to right in the problem. Here we go. Let's try number one as a warm up, And remember, Rewrite the expression after each step and bring down everything you haven't used yet. Try number one on your own. Please pause the video and then check your answer. And your answer to number one is 23. Hopefully you did a good job with that. Now let's take a look at problem number two. Here's where it starts to get good. What happens when the exponent is on the outside of the parentheses? Well, Let's take a look. At number two, we have five times four minus one to the second power. And notice I do have an exponent on the outside, and then I add 17. Well, I'm going to follow the rules of the order of operations. I like to always just, for some reason, I like to write it down here. It gives me a reminder, so parentheses, yes. Four minus one is three. Now I have to remember, bring that two along because I'm not done yet. And let's rewrite everything else so that I can make sure I get the correct answer. So parentheses done, exponent. So do I have an exponent? Yes, I do. Three to the second power is three times three. So now I have nine. So now I'm going to rewrite everything else. You should be doing this along with me. Next, I have five times nine, which is 45 plus 17, and I get a final answer of 62. Now, you can try number three is a very similar type problem. Try that one now on your own. Remember that there is an exponent on the outside. All right, pause the video and give it a try. And the answer to number three is 113. Don't forget you have that exponent on the outside. On the next page, we're looking at what happens if inside the parentheses, there are two operations to perform. All right, so number four, 
we have 3 plus 5 to the second minus 10 plus 6. Now I notice this time the exponent is next to the 5. So when the exponent is on the inside, it automatically goes with the number that it's next to. So let's take a look at number 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to solve my parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, or subtract. I see that I have parentheses, but inside my parentheses, I have an exponent. So the first thing I want to do is solve that first. So 5 to the second power is 25, and then I have 3 plus 25, I'm going to bring that down, minus 10 plus 6. Now what do I do? I had to solve the exponent inside first. So I did that. And now I'm going to solve the actual parentheses, which gives me a total of 28 minus 10 plus 6. So no more exponents. There is no more multiplication or division. Now what do I have? I have addition or subtraction. Well, if I look at my problem, what do I notice? The first sign, it's 28 minus 10 plus 6. So what would come first in this problem? The subtraction or the addition? Well, if you said the subtraction, you were totally right. Absolutely. So now I have 28 minus 10, which gets me 18 plus 6. And my final answer is 24. Good job. Try number, let's scoot over, try number five on your own. That one's a little tougher. And be careful on this one because now we have an exponent here on the inside and it's a three. All right, pause the video and give it a shot. And there's your answer to number five. The final answer is 29. Just be careful because you have to solve what's in the parentheses first. Now let's see what happens if there are two exponents in the expression. Well, let's start with number six first. Number six, I notice there's no parentheses. I notice there are two exponents. So I'm going to go ahead and solve them first. So three to the second, I know that three to the second is nine. And then I have two to the second, which is four. Then I want to make sure I rewrite and bring everything else down. Please make sure when you're solving these type of problems, you definitely want to make sure that you copy the right numbers because one number off will mess up your whole problem. And what's next? Now I'm looking through. I see multiplication. 8 times 9 is 72 plus 7 minus 4. Next, I can do the addition or subtraction first. Correct. Addition comes first in the problem, so I'm going to add first. That gets me a total of 79 minus 4. And the final answer is 75. All right. Give number 7 a try on your own. Pause the video and then come back and check your answer. And your final answer for number seven is 31. Hope you did well. For number eight, we move on with a word problem. On his math test, Steve scored five points on each of five questions, two points on each of two questions, and three points on each of four questions. To find the number of points he scored, evaluate the expression below. Evaluate, what's another word for evaluate? Another word for evaluate is to solve. So basically they set up this entire problem and they want you to find the number of points that he scored. So let's take a look. I know that the order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide, whichever comes first in the problem, and then add or subtract again whichever one comes in the problem first from left to right. So the first thing I'm going to do is solve my parentheses. I see three times four is 12. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down my 
exponents. Just make sure you copy correctly. Now what am I going to do? I did my parentheses. Now I'm going to solve the exponents. So 5 to the second is 25 plus 2 to the second is 4 plus 12. And I noticed that these are all addition. So basically all I have to do is add the rest, pause the video, and then check your answer. And the answer to number 8 is 41. Lastly, let's take a look at number 9. Oh, look, Meredith. Meredith bought three t-shirts for $12 each. Her grandmother was only able to pay for half of the total cost. Write an expression and then evaluate it to find out how much Meredith's grandma paid. So the first thing you wanna do is set up this problem. What is the question asking us to do? Well, they want us to write an expression and then evaluate it to find out how much Meredith's grandma paid. So write an expression. An expression is not going to have a numerical expression, will be numbers and operation signs. It will not have equal signs. And then we are to evaluate it. Another word for evaluate is to solve it, to figure out how much money grandma actually paid. So let's go back. So I wanna write the expression and let me see. So the first bit of information, Meredith bought, three t-shirts for $12 each. So I could probably set that up three times 12 because that's going to get me the amount that she paid for the t-shirts. Now her grandmother was only able to pay for half of the total cost. So half of the total cost. So if I have three times 12, she paid $36 but she was only able to pay for half, how would I write up the rest of that expression? Well, if I wanna do half, I can simply divide it by what? Yeah, divide by two. So 36, and I'm gonna divide that by two, gets me a final answer of $18, and Meredith's grandma paid $18 for the t-shirts. What a nice gift. So here is the homework page for tonight. You're going to evaluate each expression below. Remember the word evaluate means to solve. Be sure that you are following the order of operations and the rules are and the steps are P E M D. Multiplication or division. Some of you were in class yesterday. You remember my Bobby story. If you didn't hear my Bobby story, when you see me in class, make sure you ask me. I will tell it. It was the ice cream Bobby story, right? Multiplication or division, whichever one comes first. And then addition or subtraction, whichever one comes first in the problem. That's the key. So you go through one more time. PEMDAS, order of operations, parentheses, exponents. Then you look for multiplication or division, then addition and subtraction. You are solving these things out of order. You don't just go straight across. That's not how the order of operation works. All right, have a good time with this this weekend. Have a great and safe Halloween, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.